Hello and welcome to another episode of Advanced React WordPress Theme Development. In the previous episode, we learned about how to go ahead and create the search functionality where I can type the search query and I can get the results. And in this video, we'll continue further with our development of the search page. Okay. So in the previous video, um, we, I talked about the problem of having this load more component which is actually being used for the news page and it's fetching using the get load more news and what we really want is that it should use the this query and also have the variable passed dynamically as query right so i hope you guys have uh, got some answers and you've put that in the comment box uh, let's continue to attack this problem. So the first thing I'm going to do is make this value dynamic, right? So we're going to create a variable over here and we'll call it GraphQL query. Okay. And remember, we also have to add the prop types. So we'll say load more posts dot prop types equals what are the prop types that are going to be passed? So this is going to contain posts and that will be prop types. So let me pull the prop types on top first. So import prop types from prop types. Okay. Uh, so prop types dot objects there's going to be an object oops object classes will be a string so prop types dot string and then graphql query is going to be an object so prop types dot object and then <clears throat> i'm going to say default props and for post, I'm going to say an empty object. Classes is going to be an empty string. And GraphQL query, remember, it's being used at multiple places. So I'm going to use that as default. Okay. This means I don't have to touch, uh, you know, the component that is being used on the uh, news page. Why? Because I'm already passing a default, right? And then now I can safely change this query to GraphQL query. Okay. And now I need to pass that information from top. So I'll go to the search page component and I'm going to go down and pass that over here. And what we really want is this query, right? So I'm going to say that here results, this one, and it's already pulled that on the top, which is great. Okay. So now this is interesting. It's really interesting because I just went ahead and used the same component and just tweaked a little bit and started using the different query. But the job is not yet done, right? What we want to do now is remember that this is expecting a query, right? So we also want to pass that. So let's do that. So I'm going to pass the search query. And I'll go back to my load more post. Go back on top, pass that as well, search query. And at the bottom, let's say search query prop types dot, this is going to be in string, and search query, comma, string. Okay, perfect. Next thing I'm going to do is I'll come over here where we are doing the load more item. This is the place that I'm calling the fetch post. And this is the perfect place to catch it and say, hello, hold on. Just before you move on, I want you to check if the query uh, exists, right? And if it does, then go ahead and add that as a parameter. So I can now grab this whole thing, copy it and take it inside of a constant and I'll call it as query. In fact, let's make it let query variables equals 
I'm going to paste that. Okay. And let's just pass that here. It's the same thing we did. The reason why I pulled it on top is because then I can conditionally check if not is empty. Search query. Then in that case, go ahead and take this query variable object, which is this one, and just append, which means add another key called query and make it equal to the search query, which is what we are receiving from top and that is being passed to the load more post from here, right? There you go, that's the one. Okay, so I think that should do the job for us because now it's going to make that query. So let's do that. Let's check this out. So if I do an inspect element, if I check network tab and if I say hi, I hit enter, notice that if I go to headers, scroll down at the bottom, congratulations, you can see that it says get search result and it's passed the query and it's giving me exactly what I want. And without losing the functionality that we have built. This one correction is empty from Lodash. And let's also update the name over here. Okay, so let's see from fresh. Uh, let's say we say hi, hit enter. First query, get search result with total, with total pages. So now this is gonna get me the um, offset pagination and stuff total 51 uh, next time if I click on load more next query headers this time it's get search result and not get search result with total pages so which is working great and I've got the query being passed over here we've got the cursor as well right now this is beautiful why because we took advantage of the same component without having to rewrite the functionality and without breaking what we already built on the news page. So if you take a look at the news page, you do an inspect element. And if you check the load more, it works. And you can see that it's actually taking get load more news and there's no query being passed. Isn't that beautiful? All right, let's give a round of applause to all of us. Awesome, perfect. All right, so that's that. Let's continue. So I think that's it for uh, so that's it for this video. And in the next video, we'll continue further. And we are going to add some errors. We do some error handling, and then we we'll also continue to build uh, the form, the search form for the navbar. All right. So I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much.